Romanian deadlifts versus normal deadlifts. Now, if you spent any time in the gym, you probably heard people talking about this deadlift and that deadlift and all sorts of things. And it can be extremely overwhelming, um, not only just because there's so many different exercises, but you're like, what's the difference? What's the point of doing one versus the other, right? Uh, I know when I first started, that's how I felt as well. So let's dive into this. So Romanian deadlifts. Uh, basically, the origin behind Romanian deadlifts is that there was this Romanian weightlifter, right? Shocker. Um, good name for that. Uh, and he just wanted to find a different way to work his lower back and hamstrings versus just doing a normal deadlift. And we'll talk about what a normal deadlift is in a second. Um, the thing is, too, he wanted it to be a way that allowed him to recover and um, just not hammer his central nervous system quite as hard. So this exercise he did, basically what it is, the bar or the weight will start in your hands, and you can technically do this with dumbbells too, um, but we're just gonna act like you have a barbell. So you start with the bar in your hands. The bar is not on the ground. You start with it in your hands, and then you will hinge at the hips, basically where you are lowering the weight down. So you're pushing your butt backwards, letting the weight go down all the way to your shins, you're not touching the bar to the ground, and then you will stand back up nice and tall. So essentially, the bar is starting in your body, in your hands. You're not bringing it down to the ground. You're bringing it close to the ground and then coming up. So there's going to be a constant tension from the weight this entire time. You think about it. That weight, after you do 10, 12, maybe even 15 of these, that weight is literally going to be in your hand for maybe... I don't know, a minute, maybe two minutes, depending on how many repetitions you're doing. And the Romanian deadlift is actually really great for building your pulling volume. So um, since you can't really overload this a whole lot, uh, you can't do a super heavy max weight because again, you're holding it for a really long time. This is going to force you to do less weight, which can build good volume to do many repetitions. Um, and those many repetitions can hopefully help to uh, build your overall lower back, hamstring, and um, glute strength for translating into a normal deadlift. Um, also, Romanian deadlifts too are a great option if you can't drop the weight or even lower the weight or put it down in a safe and controlled manner. Um, I used to work out at a gym at my, um, it was my college gym, and we couldn't actually drop weights or even put them down very, very uh, carefully because the floor was kind of messed up. So I did Romanian deadlifts a lot because that entire time I only basically had the weight on the ground one time when I picked it up and then when I put it down. Versus a normal deadlift, it's going to hit the ground, hit the ground, hit the ground numerous times. Um, also too, an RDL might be great if you have compromised mobility. Uh, since a normal deadlift, you need to literally bend all the way over or to pick it up off the ground when we're talking about the barbell or deadlift. You're going to need a lot more mobility in your ankles, knees, hips, um, lower back, hamstrings, etc. to actually bend down and get that bar. So um, that's where um, if you are maybe an elderly individual, I work with a lot of seniors, so I will actually use RDLs pretty frequently um, to get them started. But of course, we would want to have them transition or move into a normal deadlift at some point. So when it comes to a normal deadlift, this exercise is so simple, um, basically describing as the weight or the bar is going to be on the ground. You are going to reach down, grab the bar. You're going to stand that bar all the way up, just like we did in the Romanian deadlift. But this time you are going to lower the weight all the way back down to the ground. So it starts on the ground, comes up, and then ends on the ground. The Romanian deadlift, it starts in your hands, goes down to your shins, doesn't touch the ground, and then comes back up to your hands. So it's kind of that difference between constant tension. A normal deadlift is great for testing your overall uh, maximum strength, or of course, building your maximum strength because it starts on the ground, um, you are actually going to be able to do a lot more weight overall, uh, simply because it's basically one movement from the top versus holding that bar in your hands the entire time with a Romanian deadlift is going to really, really tax your body and become kind of a cardiovascular exercise at some point. Um, 
If you're trying to get better mobility too, is in the ability to get down and bend over, this is going to be a great exercise as well. When it comes to just programming these things, people will say, should I do this? Should I do that? Normal deadlift, Romanian deadlift, which one's better? I just need to know. Well, I would hate to say for you to fully just do one for the rest of your life. Ideally, you would do both in your routine. I do normal deadlifts typically when I'm trying to work my max strength. And then I usually do Romanian deadlifts as an accessory exercise or a secondary exercise uh, to actually build my overall deadlift strength long term. So that's kind of a way you can think about it and look at it. Um, so basically do both of them. Uh, if you do need some tutorials, I probably have some tutorials on my YouTube channel. Otherwise, you could just type in how to do a remaining deadlift, how to do a normal deadlift. Uh, I definitely have have a how to on a regular deadlift and I believe remaining deadlift on my channel. Can't remember, I should make a video on that though. That'd be a good uh, idea. Uh, go ahead and give this video a like so far if it's giving you some value. 